Now we're going to learn about the order of operations. The order of operations is often thought of as PEMDAS. We think of it as PEMDAS uh, to help us remind us of the order. So let's go through the order. P stands for parentheses and also brackets. When we are evaluating an expression, if there are parentheses or brackets, we do what, what is ever inside of them first, regardless of the operation. Next we get to the E. The E is our exponents. Um, the exponents, any exponent should be done after parentheses. Then we get to M and D. I say them together because they stand for multiply and divide. We go left to right with those. So for instance, if there's division first and then multiplication, we would do the division first. And finally, to the addition and subtraction, uh, we add and subtract left to right again. So again, if it's 4 minus 2 plus 1, we do the 4 minus 2 first. We don't take 2 plus 1 and then subtract. Okay, so you do addition and subtraction left to right and multiplication and division left to right. So let's look at this expression. We have 4 times 5 plus 2 times 3 minus 3. When we do this, we want to immediately do our multiplication first because there are no parentheses and there are no exponents. So 4 times 2, or 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3. Now we're at addition and subtraction. Remember, we go left to right, so we must first do the 20 plus 6 is 26, minus 3, and that'll give us our answer of 23. What happens if we don't use order of operations? Let's see. 4 times 5 is 20, Oops. 20, plus 2 times 3 minus 3. 20 plus 2 is 22 times 3 minus 3. 22 times 3 is 66 minus 3. And we get the answer of 63, which is much different than our original answer. This is why you must do order of operations, and it is why you can't simply type in this problem into a calculator and expect it to give you a correct answer. Now when we're given an expression with already an answer, we have to see if it works out. So in this problem, we'd have to do the 4 times 2 first and get 8. 30 minus 8 is 22 plus 5 is 27. That is not the answer of 2. So what we must do is put in some parentheses to make this true. Now I know if I put parentheses around the 30 minus 4, I'd have to do that first, and I'd get the answer of 26. Then I have to do 26 times 2 plus 5. I know I'm not going to get 2. So I'm going to try putting my parentheses around the 2 and the 5, which will force me to add first. So I get 30 minus 4 times 7. Now because I'm, I have a subtraction here and a multiplication here, I must multiply first. So 30 minus 28, and that'll give me the answer of 2, which is what I needed to find to begin with. So using parentheses, you can change the order around and fit it to what you need. Let's look at this final expression here, and we're going to start with the P for PEMDAS, and we're going to start with parentheses. Now we can see that there are parentheses here, so I'm going to do 4 times, and then I'm going to do 5 plus 2 is 7, times 3, minus 3. So I have to go uh, left to right, so 28 times 3, minus 3. Well, 28 times 3 is 84, minus 3 is 81. So my final answer there is 81. If we didn't have the parentheses there, we'd have to do our four times um, four times five right away, just like we did before. So parentheses drastically change the answer in given equations and expressions.